Today we get a little taste of Q-Suites, the A350, and the Al Safwa First Class Lounge at Doha's Hamad International. Quite possibly the most luxurious seat and lounge combo I've ever had for a flight of less than one hour. It's before dawn and we're back on Qatar Airways for the quick hop from Dubai to Doha. On this shorter flight, the Q-suite is somewhat wasted, but hey, it's still really nice to sit here for a while. We've got Arabic coffee and dates, standard for pre-departure in the Gulf. Let's let the A350 do what it does best and rock it on out of here. from Dubai to Doha, which is around 40 minutes long, kind of comically short to be in such a luxurious setting. And uh, it's kind of a shame I can't just go all the way home on this one. But uh, it's also impressive that they do a whole service on these little 40 minute flights. This one seems to be less rushed and stressed than, than on the last one coming over. That's <laughs> On the flight from Doha to Dubai, they were literally bringing drinks to people as the captain said they should prepare the cabin for landing. Uh, and similarly in this one, we just got up to cruise and then they're preparing for descent. In fact, beginning descent already. I'm saving my appetite for what comes next. The Al Safwa First Class Lounge, which will be the first time I get to check that one out in Doha. Coffee and biscuits is enough for me on this one. This seat is just great. There may be more spacious seats out there these days, but this just looks and feels so premium and comfortable. And it is very, very private when you close the door, especially in a rear-facing seat closer to the window. Look at these fabrics and details, I love it. For now, let's enjoy some early sunrise over the Persian Gulf as we head into Doha for landing.
minutes past 5 in the morning and the outside temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. If Doha has your final destination, please proceed to your arrivals to complete your immigration formalities and collect your baggage. If you are transferring to a car, you will This bus for first class passengers is pretty amazing, though it's freezing in here. A bit of a shame at 7 a.m. in November when the temperature outside is actually perfect. Because of a quirk of regional naming, business class tickets in the Gulf are designated as first class, and that means you can access the Al Safwa Lounge in Doha. And I'll tell you what, I don't need my lounge to be a cathedral and a museum wrapped up into one. But what an impressive thing this is, nevertheless. Not to mention that the food and drink is excellent. Mango smoothie, eggs benedict and Vouv Clicquot La Grande Dame at 8 a.m. That is my kind of transit experience. You won't be surprised to hear that the time in here truly flew by. Time to go catch my connection. See you again soon. In Doha, for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.